Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now in this video, we are going to look at how we go about making our own custom title block and border in AutoCAD. So let's go. Wait, before we go, over 85% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So if you find this video useful or any of my videos useful in, in any way, please just drop a like and you can also subscribe. So that you can see future videos also comment and let me know which videos you would like me to do thank you all right so we have this image right here and we're going to do a custom border and a title block for this image so we have layouts one and two we have different layouts i could use one of those but i'm gonna create a new one it's called layout five right now so i'm gonna click on that and I'm going to click on the green line here and I'm going to delete it. But before that, I want to ensure that whatever layer I am in, that's the color that I want my title block to be, which should be white or the black layer. So you want your line to be black. So that's why my zero layer is currently black right now. So I'm going to select my zero layer. Then I'm going to delete the viewports or the viewports that was previously there. So the next thing I want to do now once I've done that is I want to select the correct paper size. So the paper size that I want to use is a tabloid paper size. So I'm going to click on the big red A right there. Then I'm going to go to print. I'm going to click on print. Now once I click on print, where it says paper size, it is currently set to A4. I'm going to change that from A4 to tabloid so tabloid is the paper size that we want we're not going to click ok we're going to click apply to layout and we're not going to click ok because we're not ready to print as yet so we click apply to layout and then we close that window so now here we have the correct paper size that we need good so now we're going to draw our lines to get to our border so to do that you can use a line a polyline or a rectangle so I'll be using a rectangle because that is the easiest way to go about doing it. Now it's going to ask you for the dimensions for your rectangle. So for the lower left corner, we're going to want that to be 0, 0. It's just like on a graph sheet or on a graph paper when the x-axis meets the y-axis right at 0. So that would be 0 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. So for the lower left corner, we're going to make that 0, 0. So I'll type 0, 0. Now we're going to have the length and the height. Now if you're using millimeters, then the length is going to be 431.8 and the height is going to be 279.4. So we're going to input those dimensions into our drawing. So the length is 431.8 millimeters, then I press comma, and then we're going to input the height which is 279.4 millimeters. Now, if you're using inches, then your dimensions would be 17 for the length and 11 for the height. So it would be 11 by 17 for your dimensions. So now, once we have that now, what we're going to do is to create our border. So we're going to use this to create our border. So we're going to offset this now by 10 millimeters so our border is going to be 10 millimeters away from the edge of the paper so to do this we're just going to select the offset tool and we can do this by simply typing offset and the offset dimensions are going to set it to 10 millimeters and then we're going to click on that line or rectangle sorry and bring it inwards and then there we have our border now for me i'm going to delete the first rectangle that we had I just use it to get our actual border that I just offset. So now I'm going to delete the first rectangle that we had and we're going to be left with just the border. So now we're going to create the title block. I'm going to show you two different styles of title block that you can use. There, is, there are multiple styles but I'm going to show you two. So what we're going to need to do first is to explode our rectangle. So I'm going to click on the rectangle and type the explode command because we only want the lower line 
of the rectangle we don't want all of the rectangle so now for our title block it's going to be 10 millimeters in thickness so we're going to select the offset tool and we're going to offset the lower line here by 10. so now we're going to have different sections of our title block based on the amount of information that we have to input so if you have five different pieces of information that you want to put in for example then what you can do is to divide our line here into five equal parts so we're going to do that by typing the divide command clicking on the line and then enter the number of parts that we want to divide it into in this case i'm using five it could be more could be less depending on the amount of information that you have so i'll use five and then you'll see my five little sections if you're not seeing those division points then type d type or ddp type and then select one of these right here that you want to represent your different points and for the point size i'm using one because that looks good you could use two or so and ensure that it's set in absolute units and click ok so now i'm going to select a line and i'm going to draw one line right here from the division point down to the next line and then i'm going to copy that vertical line to all my different points here so now i have my different sections for my title block and then once I'm done with that, I could de delete the points, the division points, because you wouldn't want those on your title block. So then I'll select a text and then I can write the information that I want right here. So let's say we're doing like the date or so, and then we can put in the information on the date. All right, so we put in that information and then you can put in whatever other information you want to put in if you want to ensure that the date is centered then you could use a center line and just drag the information drag the text to ensure that it is centered also what you can do if you want to customize your title block even more is that you could offset the top line by about two or three millimeters and then offset the lower line by that same amount and then for those lines you would change the line weight and the line color and make it a little bit lighter and then just keep that information in the middle and then it looks nice and uh, it's different and it will uh, let your title block look really good so now that's one way to do your title block so i'm going to show you our uh, next way to do your title block now to get the next way to do your title block i'm just going to delete um, this line right here and this line also and some of the other information from this current title block and we'll keep one of the sections that we have because we will use that section to do the next title block all right so what we're going to start off by doing is we're just going to delete one of the lines that we have right here and then we're going to trim it and then when we trim we can delete the rest so i'm going to trim this piece of the line right here and then I'm going to delete the rest of the line. I'm also going to delete the vertical lines. And uh, then I'll delete the text. And I'll also delete, of course, the division points. Now for the next title block, instead of having it side, the, the section side by side, like we previously had, we're going to have them stacked on top of each other. All right. So what we can do is to just copy them on top of each other but before that let me just measure the length of this line right here you don't have to use this exact length it's 82.4 and of course the height is 10 millimeters because that's what we had offset by you don't have to use that same length but you can use the same height so i'm just going to copy and start them side by side sorry start them on top of each other so i'll, I'll do that five times because i might have five pieces of information to put in if you have more you can do more if you have less you can do less also so then now you could put in your text in that box right there so that's how you go about creating a title block and then if you have like a your v ports or your multi view the drawings that you want to bring into the paper space then you just um create your multi view window look for the drawing that you want in this case the drawing that i want is this sphere right here so then i'll just um zoom in on the sphere and then ensure that it looks good on the paper 
I'll put my multi view line in dev points that doesn't show and turn off the grid. So that's how you go about creating your own border or title block. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what videos you would like for me to do. So thank you for watching and do have yourselves a fantastic day.